of all, I want to thank KBC for the platform. And I want basically to correct and say my name is David Mwangi. Gishuru from, <laughs> Safi, from Safina you. Party. I'm the youngest among the senatorial candidates. I'm 29 years old, just fresh from campus, doing his master's right now currently at University of Nairobi, and uh, ready to bring change, ready to understand the system and uh, make things work, ready to change how things have been working previously and uh, bring a new way of operation. Uh, I am still a young man. I'm yet to get married. So I have a lot of time to serve the Nairobian. I can wake up at 5 and sleep at 12 because I don't even sleep the same day I woke up. So they should not worry about that. So I have plenty of time. Eh? Uh, also, I'm a graduate. I'm an environmental science graduate. Uh, that brings in the feature of cleanliness in Nairobi. It brings the issue of uh, the Nairobi River, which has been happening for the longest. And uh, it's time that we have to bring the, the change that we believe in. You can just face the camera. Since yeah, that is, uh, we, we believe in a, in a new leadership that will bring better better people in the, in the, in the government. We believe in new ideas that uh, my party, Safina, which uh, says for gear water, we believe in changing, bringing an overhaul system. And uh, that is basically what I'm bringing to the table. Also, I would want to address, uh, as my first issue, I would like to address things to do with mental health. Mental health is disturbing <coughs> very many youths and very, very many women in the society. In each and every four persons, we have one person who has mental health issues. If you look at that statistic and you look at the, the figures that the government gives the, to, to the mental health awareness and mental health help, which is 0.01 percent, it doesn't make sense and it doesn't correlate. So because it doesn't, it doesn't work, we need to bring and make sure people are well mentally so that they're able to operate. Secondly, also like to do things with uh, environmental cleanliness and environmental improvement. As I had said earlier, we need to empower the youth. Empowering the youth is giving them capital. Empowering the youth is making sure that they're working. Empowering the youth is making sure that they're involved in the decision making. I feel so bad when my friends are out there campaigning for other candidates, yet them themselves, they cannot bring themselves up and also vie for these positions. I would like to tell the youth it's our time. It's our time to make decisions for our own. It's our time to sit on the table and not to be on the menu. And that is the only thing that we can decide by our own. Also, I would like to address an issue about uh, traffic jam. Uh, Nairobi, you waste four hours entering town. You work for five hours. You go back home with another two hours. You're on traffic for four hours. You work for five hours. It doesn't make sense. We need to address these issues, either by the de delocalization of ministries or the localization of uh, services that we get in town. Thank you so much.